But a lot of talk recently in the city of Ottawa and elsewhere about affirmative action, you know. Regular callers to Lowell Green's weekday call-in show know that Thursday is anything goes. It's a grab bag. You can talk about anything you want. But Lowell Green started today's show by talking about something that happened to him. Yesterday he discovered that his computer was stolen from his home. The alarm went off last Friday afternoon. My wife rushed home. It was a guard from the security company was there. She looked around. She didn't see anything that was missing. Checked jewelry box and all the rest of it. And then she noticed that the patio door was partially open and she didn't believe that anybody had done it. Uh, but there was didn't appear to be anything missing. So we just sort of, well, you know, maybe somebody left the damn door open. But then, as I say, uh, yesterday when we went to, went to go uh, use the computer, the computer is gone. So we call the police, and sure enough, the marks of, of the they pried the door open. Apparently, they have some sort of of tool that they use. They just pry the door open, just a little bit, slip a wire through, and then open the latch and <clears throat> and get in this way. So, as I say, the only thing missing is that that computer with all the information. Green says he doesn't care about the computer itself, which was an HP laptop. He says he can get another one of those. The problem was the computer had all kinds of research on it towards his new book. On his radio show, Green often talks about the region of Ottawa in which he lives. So there's a chance that regular listeners probably have a fairly good idea of where to find his house. He also talks an awful lot about the subject of his next book. And so he says there's a chance that this break-in was not random. Well, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very concerned about this. I mean, everybody knows I'm writing a book which is very controversial on immigration and multiculturalism. Everybody knows that. And the fact that, I mean, obviously you would be writing it on a computer. And the fact that that's the only thing that was taken is very, very suspicious in my view. In the Byward Market, Doug Hempstead for the Ottawa Sun.